Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars and I have here for you some of the kinds of conversations that I hear from other people's desire elementals and the story of the first time I contacted my own desire elemental. A lot of times what I hear from other people's desire elementals is dissing of the feeling of sexuality. For instance, I'll hear, that rooty tooty thought is not for me. Or, um, that antsy pantsy feeling is not for me. There they are, prancing and dancing again. We don't dance the polka with just anybody, which is not so bad, don't you think? Then there's, I'm not an effervescent guy. And the reply from another desire elemental might be, that effervescent thought won't occur to me. Another thing that I hear are sexual supplications or entreaties, and they might sound something like this. Will you come to my place to stay? Here's another one, a desire elemental saying, how would you like to be paddywhacked? Okay, here's another thing that a desire elemental really get, might really get enthusiastic about, the type of slogan. Great balls of fire! Great balls of fire! <laughs> At the age when this is learned, there's like no particular frame of reference for this, but it just sounds so enthusiastic and so lively that they really love it. So. The desire elemental uh, doesn't really know, um, doesn't understand the difference between male and female, between the genders, and so it can get very mixed up as to what, what it is that we want. And a lot of times I hear um, a woman, uh, desire elemental, um, on the subconscious plane, uh, asking uh, for a, giving a sexual entreaty with to a woman, such as me, or vice versa, it might be, um, a guy um, offering a sexual solicitation to a guy, and, and not intentionally, but rather, uh, these might be considered suppressed emotions, repressed because of societal expectation, not necessarily valid for the personality. See, but just like hanging out there in the desire elemental realm because they can't be thought through because of the societal issues. So, uh, so the thing to do with regard to these, I feel, is first to notice them and then to uh, like train the desire elemental what it is we really want, what we prefer in the way of gender, and so on and so forth. So here's an instance of a mixed up little desire elemental. Uh, I felt bad about it because the uh, higher mental body of the person involved noticed and and so felt kind of upset about it right away. But on the other hand, when the uh, higher mental body notices a gender mix-up in the subconscious mind, then that gives it the impetus to begin the training. So that's, that's kind of good. So I was walking along and I was passing an older lady and her desire elemental said to me very shyly, it said, um, will you marry me? And, and I could see it was a little mixed up, you know, because she was a lady with traditional values, I felt. And so I said, now, you go back to the person you're with and, and talk to her about what to say to people. Yeah, and so that's what happened, actually. Um, it, it, it went right back, and this is a typical case. The, desire, the other desire elemental went right back, and there was an immediate communication with the personality and higher mind of the other person. And so there you have unified mind, if only for a moment. I 
sometimes I hear grumpy stuff, things that are kind of negative, negative emotions being expressed uh, habitually or subconsciously, or um, and they might sound like this. We don't have that policy. My life has no quality. You have no personality. Internet hang up on that one. You are not on the internet. You are not on the internet. This is about not wishing one weren't hearing the other person. <laughs> so here's my response to those kinds of, of grump slogans, grumpy slogans, right? Um, one thing I do is I say, oh my gosh, my cell phone is, battery is, has gone down. And then I visualize, I visualize holding my cell phone, flipping it closed and putting it in my pocket. I've, and here's another one. It goes, um, it's, I want to explain to the other person's desire elemental that it's just not the way it ought to be, you know, but I want to do it some kind of way that's funny and a lot of fun. So I, I visualize hitting my side of my head here like this and a fish jumps out of the shear and I grab it with this hand and put it in my pocket. And then they start laughing. They're so funny. They start, it's so delightful. It's like little children. So here is my Desire Elemental's favorite slogan until recently. It goes like this. Oh, unbelievable God! <laughs> so along the lines of enthusiasm, here's a conversation, a very good conversation that I had with my Desire Elemental today. It goes like this. You the best. You the dude. You the way so cool. You the best. You the dude, you the way so cool. And then I waited, right? And it went, yeah. <laughs> so I mentioned before my very first conversation with my own desire elemental. And I made a few mistakes that I, I think I'll tell you about because then you maybe won't make them yourself. It started like this. I said, I realized it was there. And I said, um, No, it said, you don't love me. And I said, yes, I do. And it said, and it waxed very indignant. It said, no, you don't, like a sulk, right? So there's rule number one. Never, um, never contradict your desire elemental. It's like a two-year-old. Doesn't want to be contradicted. So I said, I hear you. And it goes, this was at the very beginning. No, you don't. <laughs> and I said, I hear you, I hear you, I hear you. And it took a couple of days of saying like that for it to finally open up and, um, and be friends with me. So the minute I had the opportunity, I, I, I walked in with the notion of love and affection. And I said, I love you. And it said, no, you don't. And I said, I hear you. I love you. And it like looked at me. It was like it was looking up hopefully, hesitantly, and I said, I love you more than anything. And it goes, you do. Kind of halfway between you do and you do. <laughs> and things have gotten better day by day ever since that day, that day when it finally realized that I love it. I love it very much.